Alright, so this is an updated tutorial for Rough Trigger Level 7. Uh, before, we could skip every section of this level except for one. Now we can skip every section. So instead of clipping into that building like we normally would, we are instead going to go over here. And we are going to jump on this thing and jump out of bounds over here. And we're going to swim all the way around this part. And we're going to go over to these rocks over here. That's, at one point the game will fling you. And you want to make sure you land in the water. If you don't land in the water, you can fall down and die. So we want to get to that other water. So we're going to kind of jump to get over here you don't have to do this but if you go too far to the left you'll clip back in bounds and you do not want to do that and then we're just gonna clip out of bounds or back in bounds here and now we get to where you would normally fight Armageddon but we're gonna skip the Armageddon fight and there's three ways you can do this this method I believe is the fastest though I could be wrong uh, although this is also the most risky method because if you die here you get sent all the way back to the beginning of the level there are no checkpoints in between here so we're gonna double jump and hold to the left to clip into here we're gonna walk behind these places these things do not clip into them and this is the tricky part the invisible platform here is very small so you kinda wanna hug the wall but don't go too far where you clip in and then we're going to just walk behind here. There's going to be a little invisible wall, so we're going to jump behind that. And then we're going to jump inside this tunnel. So the second method of skipping Armageddon is probably the slowest, but it's also the easiest. What you're going to do is you're going to jump on this health thing, jump onto this door, and then jump into this pillar which will clip you in between this building and the building with the Armageddon fight. And you're just gonna walk backwards here and the camera really does not like this. It's gonna jump around and stuff so use the first person mode. This is what makes it slow is just because you have to keep readjusting the camera so you don't clip into the Armageddon building or back into that other building. And then this last part is the same as with the first method. You just jump around here and jump into this tunnel. Alright, so the last method of skipping Armageddon might be faster than the first method, but it's a little tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Luckily, there's no risk of dying for this one, so you do not have to restart the level if you fail this one, but you will have to retry the skip. So you're going to do the same thing and clip out of bounds with this pillar. This time you're actually going to clip inside of the Armageddon building. Then you're going to jump over to this pillar like before, except this time you can't just clip out like before. You have to instead transform back into rough, and then you'll have a little bit of time to jump. And then you're going to jump out of bounds. If you, if you get like this, uh, you can't clip out. You have to, when you transform, if you don't see rough, that's your chance to jump. So jump and get out of bounds. And then just... Oops. Get into this tunnel. Now, there's a bit of a problem here. Because we skipped the trigger that told the game that we beat Armageddon. So nothing past here will work. None of the enemies will do anything. Enemies that should spawn won't spawn. And the elevator that ends the level will not work. Luckily though, the trigger that tells the game we beat Armageddon isn't actually beating Armageddon. It's this electric gate. So you just touch it. And then uh, the enemies will spawn. As you can see, they're already spawned. I had to re-record this. And uh, everything else will work. Alright, so for this last skip, normally there'd be boxes here that you would 
you could use, but if you don't have those boxes, you could jump up here and jump out of bounds here. Then you're going to, when you land in this water, angle yourself kind of to the left here and swim until you get to this part. And you want to stay on the left side here. If you go towards the middle, uh, you could fall down and die. Then jump up here. If these guys do are motionless and not doing anything, uh, you should still be fine. The elevator should still work, just as long as the guys in the tunnel are spawning. Then just go to the tunnel, and there, you have beaten level 7.